I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 210. Today we're going to be stitching using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Now you can see here I do have a little bit of the Westerly Stable Tape, the grip on the back of this ruler. It's a really great product that helps you just keep your rulers kind of secure and stable as you're quilting on the domestic or the long arm machine. Just any extra helper is worth trying out, I think. But before we hop over to today's video, I do want to let you know just a few more days until my brand new class, Let's Stitch Scallop Borders, begins. This is going to be such a fun class. Ten different border designs, scallop border designs that I'm going to teach you over five weeks. And then there's actually going to be two bonus ones after that. So you'll get a total of 12 scallop border designs. You can check out all the information for that class over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll start out using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, holding the ruler so the first marked line is on the right side of my block. From there, I'll stitch a straight line up to the top left of the block. Once I get up there, I'll travel down the ditch, moving down a quarter of an inch. From there, I'll stitch back down to the bottom of the block. Then I'll move over a half an inch, stitch up to the top, move over a quarter of an inch, and back to the bottom. Once I've stitched those lines, I'll travel along the ditch over to the left side of the block where I'll repeat this process. A half inch spacing, quarter inch spacing, half inch spacing, quarter inch spacing. Once I've stitched those angular lines, then I'm back down at the bottom of my block and I'm going to adjust my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and fill in that section at the bottom of the block with back and forth tiny matchstick quilting lines. You could fill this in with anything or even leave it left unquilted, but I just thought it was fun to create a little bit of extra texture with some straight line machine quilting. You can finish off this design by stitching the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. friends. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow! Thank you.